Hey guys, this is George for Homecraft Mama and we are back with another video, finally. We've been pretty busy with our newborn Robin, but it is Halloween week, so we've decided to make a video. And it's 2020, so that means that Halloween is not normal this year. We can't go out trick or treating, we can't have Halloween parties. So what we've decided to do in this video is put together a little interactive escape room type thing for kids to help them get in the Halloween spirit even though they can't go out and enjoy it the normal way. We can't go out trick-or-treating this year which is a shame because I think Li's at the age now where she'd really enjoy dressing up and getting to go out and start to really understand what Halloween's all about. We can't do that this year so what we're going to do instead is set up our dining room as a kind of escape room for her. As you can see, some decorations are up already. I've been making some bits out of old cardboard and you may be able to tell that Lyra's been helping decorate those as well. But this room is by no means ready for a Halloween escape room. So in this video, I'm going to be setting up in Halloween style, making sensory activities for a toddler to enjoy and generally getting in the spooky spirit. Before I get into making, and showing you all the different things that you can do to make a space Halloween-y. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our Instagram and Facebook page as well because we have been doing Halloween things all month during October. We've had a magic week, we've had a spiders week. Who knew that you could get so many crafts out of spiders? So check those out, they're well worth a look. Right, so the plan is that we are going to set this Halloween room up whilst Lyra's napping so that she can come downstairs and have a nice Halloween surprise. Let's get to it. This is the room that I have got to decorate. My dining room. So, as I said before, I have started doing some little bits of decoration. I need to get it a bit more Halloween-y. So, I've made some bits and my wonderful husband went out to Lidl's yesterday and he picked up some bits for me for decorating as well. We've got some nice felt decorations here. Also got my pumpkins and these very cute little ghost lights. Okay, let's get decorating. Like I said, I've made some of these decorations myself some of them I haven't ideally I would have wanted to make all the decorations you know being a home craft mum or whatever but I've got a newborn I don't have endless amounts of time so just making a few decorations yourself is a great way to save money and to make it a bit more your own so this is the bunting I made these are the decorations I didn't I'm just gonna stick them up around the room so it just feels a bit more Halloween-y in here. These decorations from Lidl are actually fab, I love them. And they've given me an idea as part of the interactive escape room because that's basically what I'm setting this room up to be. I'm sure if you've done an escape room, you know you have to do certain things to get clues or whatever to get out the room. So what I'm going to do is say that one of the challenges she has to do is hang these cute little bats on the spooky tree. Once she does that, then she should hopefully get, let me go get it, a gooey egg head. This is my idea. She's gonna do different challenges, all kind of Halloween themed to earn goo heads. And then if she gets enough goo heads, she'll be able to get some scissors to escape but I'll explain about that in a minute. So yeah, this is gonna be one of the activities, hang the bats on the tree to get a goo egg. So I'll go through the different activities that Lyra can do to collect her goo heads in a moment, but first I need to create the trap part of the escape room. If you've liked this on Facebook already, you may have seen it. I'm going to create a very big sticky web over the door, which Lyra is gonna to have to cut her way free from once she's got all her goo heads and found some scissors. So that's my next step to make a giant sticky cobweb over the door. Okay, to make your sticky spider web, literally all you need is masking tape. So there you have it. 
one spider web to block the door of your escape room. Also, the cool thing, because the sticky tape is facing outwards, you can actually stick stuff to it as well, like little spiders. So the room is slightly more decorated than it was before. What I need to do now is make the gooey, slimy, interactive, sensory bits fly to help with part of the escape room. So we need to go to the kitchen. So the dog is napping, Robin's napping, Lyra is finally napping. I can finally start to make these sensory foodie bits for the escape room. So I'm starting with the best party food in the world, jelly. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I've got a big knife. Um, in my head, what I'm gonna do is Put water on to boil first. I'm not going to do the jelly first. I'm going to put water on to boil first. Okay, sorry, chaos baby brain. Um, I'm boiling the water first because once that's boiling, then I can just leave that. I'm going to make, they're kind of, in my head, they're going to be like green kind of gooey worms. I did want to do this with spaghetti. We don't have spaghetti. So, egg noodles it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to boil these in water with green food colouring in as well. I don't have green food colouring. I have blue and yellow food gel. So I'm going to try and make this work. One sheet. Fingers crossed that works. Okay, that's going kind of green. Hopefully that works. I'm not 100% convinced. On to the next one. Jelly. This is raspberry jelly that I made last night so that it had time to set. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it all up, mash it all up so it looks a bit gross. And then I'm hoping to cut fangs out of my melon. I don't know how well that's gonna go either. I've not tried any of this. I'm literally winging it. Is it green? <laughs> Does it look like fangs? <laughs> it's a bit rubbish. That's okay. She's two. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to do one more sensory thing. So we've got the noodly worms. We've got the <laughs> fangs in goo, obviously. <laughs> That's what this is. And I'm also going to do just a bowl of pumpkin seeds because you cannot have Halloween without pumpkins, can you? <laughs> Did you know that um, melons are actually from the same family as the pumpkin? So extra halloween -y over here, yeah? <laughs> I might be completely wrong on that. I'm not sure. I heard it once and it sounded right. So I'm obviously using the seeds for my sensory bowl. I'm also going to use the pumpkin for a nice tea light decoration. And I found a recipe for pumpkin cake. So don't waste your pumpkin, use the whole thing. It's not a pumpkin queen. <laughs> I am the pumpkin queen. I have got to go feed Robin again, such is life of a newborn. So I am going to pause making my sensory bowls. Catch you when I can. Two hours later. Okay, so I have got all my sensory bowls made now. We have got the pumpkin bowl, the green noodles, which did work in the end. I basically left them soaking in the water for about an hour and my gooey jelly filled with fangs. So in order for Lyra to escape from our escape room, she's gonna have to find a pair of scissors, which are gonna be hiding in a pumpkin. In order to find these scissors in the pumpkin, she is gonna have to find four goo heads. 
So I'm going to hide the goo heads in amongst all the nice sensory bowls. To get the fourth goo head, she's going to have to decorate the spooky tree with the bats. I mean, you've got to have some treats in a trick or treat room, right? So that's what the goo heads are for. They are treats within the tricks in order to escape from the room. Once she has found all four of the goo heads, then she will be told where the scissors are hiding in the pumpkin and she'll be able to cut her way free and eat as many goo heads as she wants. I'll probably only let her eat one because they're full of sugar. But still, it's Halloween. You've got to have some chocolate on Halloween, haven't you? I'm going to hide these scissors and then I'm going to get Lyra up and then we're going to have some Halloween fun. Right. Catch you when I can. Look. Oh no! We're stuck in the room! Now, to get a special egg from the tree, what you have to do is you have to hang a bat on one of the branches. I can do it! Of course you can do it. Look, Mummy helps. but there's more to find. Shall we find some more? It's a beautifully decorated tree, darling. Well done. Right. Can you find another egg? Look, this is your egg already. You've got one, but look, can you find some more? They're hiding in the bowls. right now she could not care less about <laughs> she could not care less about finding her way out of the spider's web she's just eating the jelly which is fair enough because basically that's what i did at least she's enjoying it eh? let's see if we can get her to find these scissors one eternity later what's inside the pumpkin can you use the scissors to cut free because you found all the eggs Can you escape and put them in the hole there? Put your fingers in the holes. Do it that again. You can escape. No, Jenny. <laughs> Well, she managed to escape in the end. And I guess it's probably a nice thing that she is so enjoying her escape room or the jelly that she doesn't actually want to escape from it. So I'm going to take that as a win. This has been Lyra's interactive Halloween escape room. As part of our lockdown 2020 Halloween celebrations, just have a little bit... <laughs> 
just to have a little bit of fun when we can't go out and do normal things. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have got any other top things that you are doing with your little ones to celebrate Halloween or just to celebrate anything during this weird year, then please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe and yeah, thanks for watching. I've enjoyed Homecraft Mama and I'll catch you when I can.